after taking a shot at the NCAA's recruiting policy. So, you know, Dion loved recruiting when all the guys were coming to him. But when some started leaving, he said to the NCAA, it's not fair. Once you commit, you shouldn't be uh, flirting around talking to other schools. So, first of all, let's start with this. Deion Sanders is realizing what all Colorado football coaches eventually realize. It's hard to build a great roster in Boulder. The athletic department doesn't have a lot of money and support. And the state does not provide a lot of great high school football players. It was very fun to watch early, but Colorado finished 4-8, and 1-8 eight, and eight in the Pac-12, and blew a 29-0 lead against awful Stanford. You guys are banging on Lincoln Riley. Deion Sanders didn't win enough. But I will say this in support of him. I thought September Deion Colorado was great. It was new. It was fresh. It was fun. I don't regret for a second leaning into it. I like new stuff. They were the most watched team in college football for five weeks. They were a little bit like a TikTok trend, wild for about 24 hours, and then they fade into irrelevance. But that's okay. You're on TikTok too. Colorado football, eventually, all coaches discover this, is Colorado football. That's why if you go back to the 1960s and the 1970s, the top 20 programs then are mostly the top 20 programs now. It's a state that doesn't provide a lot of players, and you have to convince them to leave Texas and California and come to the mountains. It's hard. A lot of people, I find, are rooting against Deion Sanders. He's different. He brags a lot. Can be a little showy. I get it. But to me, Nick Saban lost to Louisiana Monroe in his first year at Alabama. This stuff is hard. Dabo Sweeney at powerhouse Clemson, surrounded by great high school talent in the surrounding states, has had 10-plus wins in 12 straight years until this year he dips a little. Dude's got two natties, and a big chunk of the fan base is furious with him. That's college football. Ryan Day's record in the Big Ten is 41-3. and three. Half the fan base wants him out. Society is filled with people on the sidelines taking shots at successful people. It's so easy. Yet, yeah, no, it's not. It's hard. Nick Saban built a powerhouse. They weren't winning back-to-back. It's hard. NIL, transfer portals made it even harder. It's easy to sit on the sidelines and take shots at Deion Sanders. But September Deion, September Colorado was a lot of fun. I thought they'd get dragged by TCU, and they went to Texas and blew them out. But Dion is realizing the realities of college football. Brian Kelly is an excellent coach. Half the fan base wants him gone. Ryan Day is an excellent coach. Dabo Sweeney's an excellent coach. Nobody's ever happy. Mario Cristobal's at a better program than Dion. He's 500 after two years at Miami. Nebraska's a better program than Colorado. Matt Rule went 5-7. and seven. September, we all got a little over our skis. We got into the hype. It's okay. You fall in love with a lot of things. People, teams, players, businesses, opportunities. It's okay. Go ahead, be grumpy. Never fall in love with anything. September football for Dion was a blast. I loved it. I thought it was crazy. Surprised the heck out of me. But then reality set in. The Colorado players decommitting? So what? Players decommit from Nick Saban, Ryan Day, Dabo Sweeney, Lincoln Riley? Players decommit all the time. Players have never been more empowered. What I find with Dion is a lot of people are just rooting against him. And you're all experts now. I told you it was hype. So what if it was? Sometimes hype is fun. That's he is, though. It's kind of over for Justin Fields in Chicago. The first sign you don't have a franchise quarterback is your defense gets four picks and you can't get a single touchdown, not one. The second sign, your offensive coordinator doesn't want you to throw the ball down the field. 33 starts. If you went to a stand-up comedian for 33 minutes and didn't laugh, he's not funny. You can keep blaming everybody else. Great, he's athletic. I would watch him if he went to Atlanta. I'd move him to Atlanta, get a third-round pick. He'd be fun. Bijan, Drake London, Kyle Pitts, the Chicago thing's over. Top franchise quarterbacks do two or three things really well. 
They see the field, process quickly, and accurately deliver the ball. I just don't, I don't see it. We got 33 starts. He's not good enough to pass on a much better college prospect who doesn't turn the ball over a lot, Caleb Williams. Justin Fields has 35 fumbles in 35 games, a passer rating in the low 80s, a completion percentage barely above 60. Caleb Williams is a better prospect. You'll be able to start restart the rookie salary clock, and it'll put a new energy in the building. C.J. Stroud, game one, with four backups on the offensive line and no run game, the Texan staff let him sling the ball all over the field. 33 starts, and this offense, they don't want him to throw the ball down the field. 15 of his 27 completions were at or behind the line of scrimmage. And I know you think you know more than the coaches, but what coaches allow players to do, not just quarterbacks, tight ends, corners, safeties, what they allow them to do is what they see them incapable or not doing in practice, right? Like, don't do that. Don't do that. So by the time you get to a game, the coaches allow you to do certain things that they see you can produce consistently in practice. Again, Houston coaches, C.J. Stroud, first game, throwing it all over the field. 33 starts for Justin Fields. They won't let him throw it down the field. There was one completion over 20 yards, and that was at the end of the game when the Chicago coaches had no choice. And by the way, he's got D.J. Moore, a number one receiver. He's open a lot downfield. So when you have to consider going to a third coach, Probably not the coaching. The common denominator in Chicago is Justin Fields. Remember, y'all banged on Matt, Mitch Trubisky. I was never a Trubisky fan. I didn't like the draft pick. I was never a fan. But he went to the playoffs twice. Aaron Rodgers was in his prime in Green Bay. Matt Stafford was still in Detroit. The division is wide open now. Mitch Trubisky, who nobody in Chicago gave, you know, a second thought as a franchise guy. They weren't into it. He went 11-3, and three, first year with Matt Nagy. You want to know the one year Justin Fields had Matt Nagy? Two and eight. It's kind of a swing. And I'm not a fan of Trubisky. I would have moved off Trubisky early. But Aaron was in his prime. Stafford was close to his prime. And he got to the playoffs twice. Nobody defended Trubisky. It's over. Again, we've got 33 starts. Right now, he's auditioning. Yes, he's athletic. Yeah, he seems like a nice kid. Trubisky was a nice kid. And yeah, this organization doesn't do a great job to draft and develop quarterbacks. I agree with all that stuff. But Caleb Williams is a better prospect. You start the rookie salary clock. It's a new energy in the building. And Caleb, for the record, doesn't turn the ball over much. All right? And he's been running for his life for the last two years, too. So what happens... Over 50% of the first-round quarterbacks don't make it. It's okay. He's athletic enough to get a second opportunity. I'd love to see him play in Atlanta. Offensive coach, Bijan, Kyle Pitts, Drake London. I'd watch. Better old line than the Bears, I think. I'd watch. It's fun. It's different. But I don't think Justin Fields is a hoist-the-trophy guy. And maybe there's only seven of those guys on the planet. But, like, this capitulation over, well, he could, he did. 33 starts. He completes about 60% of his throws. Low passer rating, a lot of fumbles. I mean, nice kid, but um, four interceptions, no touchdowns. He's got a number one receiver, good tight ends. The O-line's not as awful as everybody claims. Capable running backs. The coaches won't let him throw the ball down the field. Here's Justin after. We haven't let, you know, our record define who we are. We know who we are as a team. You know, we know what we're capable of, and it's really just going out there and doing it, going out there, executing and finishing the way we know how, the way we did tonight, and um, really just cleaning up the mistakes because, you know, if you clean up my two fumbles, we're probably not even in that situation. 35 fumbles in 35 games. He fumbles. That's the reality. This league is about can you see the field, deliver it accurately, don't turn it over and win games, and stay healthy. He's not checking a lot of boxes. It's time. Okay, this story is interesting. Deion Sanders loses.